Hello everyone, Jacolo here and welcome to today's Devcraft episode. I messed up a few things this week, but I hope to make it better next time. For now, let's talk about this week's deck. So since we're going beat down, let's go over what it is. A beatdown strategy is a very simple thing. It's all about having the strongest monster on board and pressuring the opponent with the sheer force of your big number. Red Eyes, having the main monster cap at 2400, is not that very threatening in the attack point department, however there are three ways of making the deck utilize beatdown to pretty decent effect. It's quite fitting that the first way of achieving that form of power would be the first to be introduced into the TCG. Well, not really, but more about that later. Red Eyes Darkness Dragon is a level 9 Dark Dragon effect monster with the following effect. Cannot be normal summoned or set, must be special summoned from your hand by tributing one Red Eyes Black Dragon. Gains 300 attack for each dragon monster in your graveyard. It was first introduced in the structured deck Dragon's Raw in 2005. Whew, that was a long introduction. Since that monster gains attack for each dragon monster in the grave, the general idea for a Darkness Dragon focused deck is to send as many dragons to the graveyard and power up Darkness Dragon as much as possible. In my opinion, it's not the best way to approach beatdown. It's both slow and outdated, not to mention that it requires to control a rise black dragon on the field. Thankfully, it doesn't specify that the monster's original name has to be Red Eyes, so there's room for some name changing shenanigans. The first fusion monster that used Red Eyes as material came out in Metal Raiders, three years before Red Eyes Darkness Dragon. The thing with the fusion, at least with the original ones, was that you'd make a free card investment, two materials and a poly, to get a monster with more than 3000 attack. While in case of Darkness Dragon, at least in the beginning, you would make a free card combo, check into Red Eyes and into Darkness, to get a monster with 3000 attack. Well, that was the case until 2015 and the release of Clash of Rebellions, which introduced Red Eyes Fusion. Now it was possible to summon those big fusion monsters using materials from the deck to do it. With the additional introductions of new fusion monsters with effects, giving them additional power during the battle phase, the issue with all of this comes from the fact that Red Eyes Fusion prevents any other summons during the turn. Even if Verte Anaconda is used, no further summons can be done after the effect resolves. The final way to achieve big numbers is by using the Claw of Hermos! Yes, the Claw of Hermos allows for the summon of the Red Eyes Black Dragon Sword, a level 7 fusion monster that, when summoned, equips itself to a monster on the field granting them 1000 attack and an additional 500 for each dragon in the graveyard. Therefore, it's affected somewhat similar to Red Eyes Darkness Dragons, but on steroids in, in the form of an equip spell. Unlike last time, I won't be showcasing a decklist for all strategies on their own, because that's kinda pointless. I'll just go to the final beatdown deck. So this is the deck. You might be a little bit confused because it's a 60 card one, but we're playing Triple Lumina, Triple Minerva, Triple Raiden, Double Wolf, Triple Charge of the Light Brigade, and Triple Solar Recharge. That's for two reasons. One, so we have access to level 7 Synchro Pool, Michael, Fortune Lady, Every, and Glowing Synchro Dragon, but also so we can send any dragons to the grave, which we have a few, so we can power up our Red Eyes Darkness Dragon as well as our Red Eyes Black Dragon Sword. Yes, we've meshed up all of the strategies together. So like I said, we have, in, we have 17 Light Song cards, just so drop our milling and searching. We also have Triple Red Eyes Black Dragon, Triple Red Eyes Black Flare Dragon, Double Black Stone of Legends, Double Black Metal Dragon, Triple Cards of Red Stone, One Red Eyes Fusion, One Dragon's Mirror, because we don't want to use another Red Eyes Fusion. We want to use Dragon's Mirror so we can use the materials in our graveyard. We have Triple Red Eyes Insight, Triple Spirit, and Double Return. So we can just recycle all those Red Eyes monsters in our graveyard. We have one Darkness Dragon, one Summoned Skull, because that's the best level 6 normal Archfiend monster, which we can use to summon Archfiend Black Skull Dragon. Triple Claw of Hermos, because, well, it's fucking Claw of Hermos, it gives us a very big, 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 big monster. One White Dragon, White Vibrator, and one Collapse Serpent. They're basically here because they're free extenders. Triple Ash, because it's Ash. Harpy's Feather Duster and Lightning Storm, because this is a going second deck. 
So we want to get rid of all the distractions, all the back row. A triple quick launch and one rocket synchron because it is another extender and also it can be used as a material for the claw of Hermos. And triple infinity, infinite. <laughs> and triple infinite impermanence just to get another negation. As for the extra deck, we're playing Archfiend the Black Skull Dragon in two copies. Double Rise Black Sword. As I mentioned earlier, clearing Avery and Michael. One uh, Diabolos. The Mind Hacker. Double Red Eyes Flare. Metal Dragon. One Unicorn. One Hulky Fabrex. One Cerberus. One Anaconda. And one Phoenix. That's basically standard. When it comes to the extra deck, I went for some going second cards. Like the Kaiju. Scamaseo. Kamongus. Radian. And Triple Kaiju Slumber. I went for Kamongus and Radian because they're level 7. And so they can uh, provide us materials for our rank 7 pool. So we can easier get to Diabolos or what Ice Flare Metal Dragon. One mind control because if we can mind control something that's e that's perfect. One monster reborn because it's monster reborn. One for one so we can get into our level 1 monsters easier. I didn't get space for it in the main deck. One called by the grave because it's called by the grave. Breakthrough skill is here because of the Light Sworn engine. It provides a negation, but it can also provide an additional negation if it's sent to the graveyard. So, if we're able to get it to the graveyard with the Light Swans, it's not a card that we will lose. And one Imperial Order because. because DM staples, damn it. And that will be it for today. I hope you enjoyed this little deck craft episode. And I will see you on stream where I will be tackling the YGO Omega ranked with this abomination. I'll see you then.